All right, so this is the basic chip shop batter. I'm making a full recipe today because we're going to be open for business and I might as well. We use seven pounds of flour. Um, we've been doing this 12 years now, so we don't really need to uh, weigh these things. We know what seven pounds of flour is. When you've used your batter for the day, you throw it away. The worst thing is, is to use the batter the next day because, you know, we've all been to these fish and chip restaurants where the batter's been a bit doughy and a bit nasty. That's because it's old batter. So you've got seven pounds of flour. We put four tablespoons of baking powder. That gives it a bit of air, it aerates it. We do four ounces of malt vinegar. You could use red wine vinegar. I mean, it doesn't make that much difference. And we do six ounces of salt, which to me is two handfuls. In there we put 120 ounces of water. Obviously you don't have a mixer like this at home and the, I, th I think the recipe, the chip shop batter recipe online is a cup of flour and 12 ounces of water and stuff. So you can do it by hand. So guys, this is the batter. It's a little bit thick. If you need to thin out your uh, batter because it's a little thick, remember you can always add, but you can't take away. It's like salt, you know, you, you over season something, you're screwed, but this is the perfect consistency now. So what we're gonna do, use about a cap of food colouring, very little. And again with the food colouring, if you're going to use the egg food colouring, use it very sparingly. You don't need, I mean, I've used a, we use maybe a cap and a half to make a hundred and something orders of fish and chips, so it really is a very small part of the ingredient and it is rather strong. And different brands are also different strengths, so just because the brand you bought last week doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the same as the brand you bought this week. All right, and that's the chip shop batter. Let me show you a little bit about the consistency of this batter. As I say, you can make it thinner and it's crispier, you can make it thicker and it's more doughy. This is how we start off. If you look at it on the back of a spoon, you run your finger down it. It's very thin but it doesn't run into the, the spoon again. I think of it as a, the same consistency of a creme anglaise. Um, and if you're doing a lot of frying, because the process is flour first, then batter, the batter gets thicker, because um, obviously the flour mixes in with it. Um, but this is, this is the perfect batter. You really don't want to keep it for more than four hours. After four hours, the gluten starts to work and it starts to get a bit doughy. Um, and that's the chip shop batter.